Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to install Windows 11 on supported hardware on Lenovo laptop. This is a Lenovo Aria by Swiss and I'm using Windows 10 here. Let me show you. Type Winbo and here search box. And as you can see, I'm using Windows 10 Microsoft Windows. It's version 21.8.1, 21.8.4. Now let's say whether our computer supports Windows 11 or not. For this, we have to download and install PC Health Check app. After that, we have to type PC Health Check app. There it is. Open that app. And then click on Check Now. Okay, this will give me a couple of new comments. You want Windows 11? Now, good thing. Now let's begin the installation of Windows 11 on this video. So before doing this, let's get in Windows 11 install 10. Make sure you remove and back up all of the data, like in your desktop or in your document folder, to have like external hard drive or an other partition. So after that, you need a bootable USB drive. I have here. So you have to create it. And if you don't know how to create Windows 1 bootable USB, I'll show you in my next video. So now plug it in. USB drive here. Make sure your laptop is plugged in. Now, just turn off the laptop by pressing power button until the light gets closed. It is not closed. For this particular laptop, it's going to go idea for 3.30. Okay? So, the boot key or, or the boot manager key is actual for me. Maybe it's different for you. Power on the computer and keep on pressing F12. Make sure you are connected. Let's keep pressing. So here we go. Windows Boot Manager. It's an Adada SSD with my master drive on which Windows is currently Windows 10 is currently installed. EFI USB devices, Kingston Ada Travel, Freebinder, this is USB track, so we connect this one, select this one to select it because it's trackpad or mouse doesn't work here. You have to do this by pressing the down button and then pressing and um, okay, so start creating a problem. So, we wait for two seconds. Now, when I set up a little bit, now we can use the trackpad or touchpad here. So, first click on next, click on install now. Now, click I. Now it comes to ask for your vision Windows. So I'm going with Windows 11 Pro. So now press next to continue. Click on next. Click on custom. Now here we can see some mostly some complicated. Some people say that it's really complicated to select partitions, so the easy thing is delete all the partitions by doing it itself. This is the best way to install Windows because it optimizes the computer as well for performance. Remove all of your partitions, then it will become only one partition. Okay, all the partitions are removed. Now click on New, click on Apply, click on OK. It will also create some other partitions to run Windows properly. And then just simply click next to continue installing it. Now just restart the video. Click on restart now and can do it should restart. Now, I'm using a really powerful laptop here, so this will not take that much time. Maybe for you if you're using hard drive and low end system, it may take several minutes or maybe several hours to complete the setup. For us, we are using way hard computer here. That's why it will be done in a second. So I didn't see. But 
by men getting ready. Do not disguise the USB drive until we are in the OOP data, which is out of the box experience. Don't remove your USB drive until that. So let's just wait. Now Windows is going to install and out of the box experience I got started. And it took me 1 minute and 36 seconds to reach this thing. And now we are going to do it for a quick way. So just click on yes. So for me, I don't have a US keyboard, I have a United Kingdom keyboard, so I will go over to United Kingdom and then click on yes, click on skip. Now let's connect to a Wi-Fi network. After entering the password and connecting, the next word will be visible. So we have to click on next, okay. So most of this will experience is very easy and even if I was not telling you, well, the windows will automatically tell you how to complete the setup. And now I can remove the USB drive but it is not recommended yet to remove it. But if you want now you can do it. Just no checking for updates. And everything is now dependent on your computer hardware speed and your network speed. So maybe it's installing some crucial updates like security patches and other things. Okay. So it's saying making sure you have the latest. I've already done the latest ISO but I don't know why I'm checking for this now. By the way, in the next video I will show you how to download and install I used to file from Office of Microsoft, including some devils, devils, and your stable bit. So I'm using stable bit here. So now I think the updates have been installed and we'll restart the laptop. And I'm using one of laptop. If you're using another kind of laptop, you just need an another file key. Just that the difference, everything will be the as the other two. Once my file, then apps will be automatically installed on the laptop or from another computer. So, again, let's go turn off. Just let's put close, let's turn on location for some relevant broadcast, but I don't want to find your device. I don't want to send Microsoft my computer's data. I don't even want reading and typing, and if it's also in the performance. I don't want all this stuff. I will not go ahead and click on the cap. Just I want the feature for whether 
install some weather icon right there now so it will show you the weather so I will click on skip but you can select which one you want but it doesn't do anything so you can go ahead and skip it One drive is here, so I want only file, save files to the PC. Hold me close till I get up. Now to go on service. I don't want to waste what's left. Click on OK. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. Through the wastelands, through the highways, to my shadow, through the sun rays, and on and on we'll go. Through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go. Oh, 